<laughs> yeah, last time we ended, we improved our situation in the eastern corner a little bit. We still have massive armies here, but they lost a significant army. And we're about to loot this city. I'm not. I'm trying to keep our own stronghold here and burn everything else. More importantly, we have another army here proceeding against the enemy, heading south, basically moving against the red. Uh, as far as I know, she only has this single city, and she is responsible for the fire domain that's been burning all our invasion troops. So I want to play her out of the fight before I even consider moving against the battle. Moving against Phobias. I don't like the graphics in this game. At least the Shadow Realm sort of makes it worse because I, I can't tell what I'm looking at. It's I'm I'm on my flag color is basically black. The number on the flag is black, and all the surrounding things are black. And there's some black creatures there. So I have to put my face right next to the monitor to really see what the hell is going on, and that's intolerable. Again, this probably works at least somewhat well if the color of the number with the black flag would be anything other than black. Now, that's the sort of the problem with having a strategy game and moving too close to or not designing the graphical look all that well. It's because it starts to be a burden for the strategic gameplay because you can't tell what the hell is going on. you aim for some kind of realism instead of just things working. In general, I can't tell how many units I have in my groups. I always have to click them. With the others, you can sort of see them, but still, the black on the blue isn't showing all that well either. So, I, I just don't know why they didn't pick, they didn't pick uh, something like white for the number. White would have been, at least some shade of white would have been very easy to see in everything but the white. I think we're... yeah, we're looting it. I don't want to fight against his hero that's coming here, mainly because it would play us. And we want to push south as fast as possible. Let nothing delay us. They'll dispel our dispel our enchantments. Yeah, exactly. So well we can easily replace them, it's not that big a deal. Stone skin engendered weapon dark gear. To do that, we're loot going to loot another city. We got 360 gold from the previous one. And yeah, we can just move this group here. Yeah? They can wait the looting. Uh. If we lose this city, it doesn't really matter. Ooh. Free stuff for us. Yeah. <laughs> 
be able to win this. Ah, now that we have the casting support, I'll definitely try to hunt down a lot of these enemies wandering in our area. First, what did we lose? Everyone pretty much should have at least stone skin. The Shadow Demon Lords already have it, naturally. Death Stripe. It would give a little bit of bonus to damage. But Death Stripe is the most important thing. This is not a melee hero, and this one has it. You. Avengers. Using one half decent units and the rest are crap. Almost everyone has full experience. That's down. What am I going to do? Oh shit. Yeah, we're dead either way, so. Uh, yeah. Dead either way. have anything that flies. There are multiple things that fly. You fly, float, as you can. Oh, we're gonna have a few spectres. Can you float? No. Yes you can. Okay. We'll do a Undead Reaper. Where are we? Now we're gonna do two spectres. It will serve us better here. Mm, no, we're gonna do a uh, under tree perk. It possesses four turns, but we've been storing up, up quite a lot of production here, so it might even we might even get the unit for the first turn if we're lucky.
We should get a little bit of gold and hopefully a half decent magic garden. That's pretty much the base we can hope for. Twelve gold and an ancient armor, which means physical protection, defense resistance. It's better armor and use the physical protection. You get armor too. Congratulations. Uh, great find. Moving on. Mm. Should we strike here? Well, we'll worry about it. We'll worry about it later. This. Mm, we should have webbing ability or something similar. Trying to get a little bit of experience for the night. More importantly, what's your defense here? Three nights. Prepare to burn. We might go the looting route though. He's definitely helping with our unit production. Seven hundred twelve gold. Ah. How long for the reaper? Three turns. down escalate I don't particularly care who gets kills 20 points of damage with a single hit, that, that's bad. Looting it is. We're not in any particular hurry at the moment. But we can take our time. Okay, we should be 
getting the dredge river fairly fast, I want to hurry it up. I think we're gonna make a uh, wizard's tower here. But we should probably just make more units. Yeah. Okay. What we want here is a couple of air galleys and then we will all migrate to see something else. Since it's the only unit we can send there, we'll have to buff it up at least a little bit. Uh, I don't want to fail in the another another quest for the Spirit of War. We'll kill everything where it walks. get from here to here who cares 650 gold games mm, the enemy is trash you want to do Looks we'll do a few repeater ballistas. We have a force we can send as a defensive force somewhere. Okay, this might be a difficult fight. We don't need many hits with those arrows for this will turn. Definitely not favor me. advantage there. It's a lot of damage to the bone horror. I'd say we've been very lucky in this fight. Yeah. Archers have been very Very bad at hitting. Okay, can I cast something here? Um, what the fuck is that? It's an evil eye, but what is it? Dominates. Um, 
Uh, yeah. Um, let's try it with that guy. He already has a million special abilities anyway. Money or a spider totem. Take the money. It looks we can keep our production up without any interruptions. Who is that? Do not disturb. I think I'll go to disturb them. Another animated structure here. So we just need to kill everything. I think the bone horror is counted as a, some kind of constru construct because it does not get reanimated. able to end this on this turn anyway. Ooh. Displacement. 25 percent chance to evade any enemy melee strike. Ah, now they're making another attempt at us. The forces here aren't that great. Well, the defensive forces aren't that great either, but... I'm definitely going to mostly ignore those and go on a burning spree here. I'm putting a stop to my constant summoning spells because I'm making 25 mana crystals per turn. Uh, at least for now. Our research will be converted to mana, I think. That would be extra 50 points. If that's basically true, then we can continue casting. But I need to verify that first. Yeah, it seems more or less true. So. We have an extra 50 mana income that isn't shown there. Holy shit, they have a weak force here. I'm taking advantage of that, striking it immediately. But here. Fairly weak force, so burn, 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 burn. I like to surrender to. Isn't that wonderful? Until that. Um. Fight. If we defeat Phobius at where his current capital is, it won't make much of a difference. He has a lot of places to retreat to. But it's uh, about a group of four cities. So if we can take it out, it will be 
a huge blow to unit production and income generation. I'm suspecting he will migrate to the southern portion of the map at, map at that point. There's another city there that is protected by a force field. Very likely he'll just get transported there. Uh, you're almost dead. You are terrible. I have to say, he does have a huge amount of these income producing sites here. Absolutely fantastic amount. Okay, what is that? Woohoo! Druids and nymphs. Not a retreat. We're gonna be entangled so badly that there's not gonna be a fight, so we're just gonna lose everything. I'm doing a manual battle. We're within our casting range, and I don't want to get the air elementals hurt too badly. So a little bit of casting might help here. He has fairly low resistance values. I suppose we could try to drain his mana. Not sure that'll help, but it's an extra burden on him. I'm sure he'll start to feel it at some point. Oh, it's wishful thinking, but. Feel free to ignore me all you want. Ooh. We're entering the red territory. More money. Lots more money. What is that? Independent party constructing resources. Not all that attractive at this point. Okay, he pulled all the troops he had in defense. lot of troops but the actual good quality troops is probably something like five units 
half a dozen. Then we start to enter the tier 1 trash. They'll help, they can of course be a catalyst, but they'll never be able to defend this effectively. The airships are probably our biggest threat in reality here. We just need to get inside the gates very fast. And we have a fairly good way to do that. At least we can prevent them from re establishing the gates. Oh, and that lord is pretty much dead. Let's go and heal it. Holy shit, 13 points of damage with all this stuff. I hate, hate that. Okay, I think I'll heal up a little bit. Bless our own unit. How can you miss? <laughs> Not much I can do here. I need to kill the blockade unit of the next time. Our incarnate is dead. We chose our targets a bit poorly here. But we didn't actually bring inside the castle our troops. So now they're getting turn after turn shooting at us. Okay. 
And you can't enter there because uh, yeah, the gate is not in there. Okay. We can't cast the Bulgar Abbey anymore. I think we're gonna go with stoning. We're gonna lose most of our troops here. I'm not too worried about that. Again, we do have teleportation gate, so that's not really a big problem. What is a big problem though is that we don't have all that many units that can attack the flanks. I think we pretty much have our hero. And he has the webbing ability basically. Well, we could use a cannon, but it's more effective if we manage to succeed in this. Yeah. On airship, yeah. with the last one. Excellent. Wizard is the only one left, I uh, think we'll just straightforward kill it with our own hero. the gates and ran inside, have you? Eos is greater than you are, and its wonders will never be sold by what you call culture. If you think it is a mere city, there is a good reason it was my capital. The very walls hate you and your kind. You will never feel at home. But I escaped. I rode the stairs in the sea of magic and arrived when I, where I am now. Uh, very predictable. It's probably fully developed in much. Our situation is very bad now. But at least we're protected. We should be able to get some units here immediately. We prepare for this more or less a little bit. Yeah, our position is a bit more solid right now. Uh, 
Um, I'm wondering should I make an airship? It, it is a very convenient way to move around here with all these terrain obstacles all over the place. And heal, see what happens, but that's a significant step forward. The best thing about the ships is that they make use of war machine armies very realistic. You don't have to wait a ton of time to move around because only the airship moment really matters. Neutral units. What? It's probably from destroying something. Yeah, quick fights is fine. Might be even able to take on these larger forces. Mm. What's the point when you have weak targets too? for the air gully, so something has to say. Rest Jones. They don't accept your surrender. A few, few veteran lords that used the experience to try to climb to elite status. Yeah, cancel the migration and just burn it to the ground. Yeah, we definitely want to remove the 
spell casting and magic relays. That way I'm the one who can cast magic here and no one else. Yeah, it looks like our production is fairly decent. What the fuck happened? Someone did something. Probably the AI basically casting a huge amount of uh, either buffing spells or there was a huge amount of creatures that basically got their automatic city heal. Killing here, thank you, bro. Uh, very likely to level up. And I'll do manual battles. Show me what you've got. Could I now actually complete the turn? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Accept surrender, sure, why not? be able to win this, but I don't know if we can. And that's not the point of this guy anyway. We're supposed to go and just take a look what the hell we can find here. an air elemental. Maybe not if we cast a spell. <laughs> Didn't lose it. Bad luck on the ballista though. to start attacking the airships too. The reason being that we have crippled his ability to produce these quite severely, 
So sooner or later, if we just attack them wherever we can, their numbers are going to start to diminish. I could just use the gravity spell. One more webbing. There you go. After we've destroyed the bread, we can be a bit more casual about this. But we do need to destroy the enemy's level 20 hero too. And he has another hero over level 10. So we can't really throw away our own heroes. Undead, Dark Elves, Shadow Demons. We are going to migrate this is something. Undead probably wouldn't be bad, but... I don't particularly care for the Undead, so I'm inclined... I don't really trust the Demons either. I, I know it doesn't make any kind of sense. I mean, it's not an issue in this mission, so it doesn't matter what I do. But I need a Dark Elf. Monks and some listers and the uh, catapult or two. More defense. Oh, resistance. No, defense is more important. 70. Defense. Okay, we could get defense 20, but we can get that if we just get a few more items. Leadership 1. It's not a leadership hero, so help. Guys, might as well be shadow demons. Everyone else is at this point. Automatic accept surrender. Sure. We're definitely removing his ability to maintain a large army base. We wiped out a huge number of cities, huge number of production sites. That has to start. Has to start make a difference at some point. We don't. Okay. With this, we don't actually have to raise these. If we just move over the farm, I think it's pretty much the income will go to zero because the land will be dead. Ooh, we are 
getting very very close very very close indeed something distance no how about now Systematic destruction of everything. There's one unit here that can shoot back at us. So if we kill it, we should be free to destroy the rest. Uh, the reason I didn't want automatic combat here is that the AI sort of operates oddly sometimes in these situations. So it leaves the fight sort of unfinished. This way I'm pretty much guaranteed that well, it might take a few turns, but we're certainly gonna finish this. How hard is it? 80% chance of hitting. It should be higher here, 90. Construction resources. What did we get? Well, Farcaster at least is somewhat useful. It's not like I expected something super interesting anyway, though. The cities are upgraded to the point where they don't really need to be upgraded anymore. Ah. Yeah. Manual battle. Entangle is our biggest threat. That works, we're done. It didn't work. Chainmail, that's a uh, good armor. I'm sending it to Mandor. I don't particularly care who gets it at this point. The farm income suddenly went downhill a bit. Produces, still produces 10. 
but it doesn't produce any extra from the actual terrain. What exactly are we doing here? Yeah, we need to prevent them from casting anything here. It's very likely that they'll yeah, at least try to recapture this. Yeah, a mass gathered a massive army here exactly for that purpose. It seems pretty clear if we don't move additional forces there, we're gonna lose it. We'll see. Oh shit, that is loud. It is free he healing from all those histories provided. Uh, terrible, terrible sound. I mean, why would you need that sound to stack? Really? You wouldn't. If it's a similar, the same sound effect, just a single one is enough. We could. Ooh. Obvious is troops. Kill the infidels. Death to all fairies and blah blah blah. Elves, probably. Ah, that's a question. We need to kill two guys, and that's pretty much it. One. about this so yeah 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 um, I'm pretty confident the AI at this point could not possibly screw this up It's not too much of a bother if we manually do this. The airship isn't anything special, but flying unit with infinite range attacks, and this is what you get. Hunt infidels. Why did you give the quest to the other side of the fucking world? Ah, who knows, who cares? Let's continue on. They're converting to the south to protect their new capital. I don't particularly care about it. They have a capital south of that too, or a wizard tower. So I'd rather strike every. Are we on fire again? Fire domain. Mother Fudger. Well, construction resources. 
I'll probably try to maintain hold on the southwestern city if I can do it. It's another one, yeah, but no distraction, we'll, we're aiming for it directly now. Especially since we miraculously started to burn up again, we'll have to speed things up a bit. Very well, lose this. It's possible. But we might not lose it. Excellent, and everyone survived. Fantastic. Ah. What are we gonna do? Wait here for now. I think I'll aim with, with these guys also aim for the red cities. I don't want to get sidetracked. Slave. So you could probably scrounge up a decent amount of reinforcements there. an Avenger. I was sort of wondering why there is a grey army unit there, but it's just, a, just an Avenger. Additional buffs on our army. But yeah. This could end very fast at this point. We can destroy this. I'm not sure if we have what it takes to take on the rest of the cities. But we are at least putting a lot of pressure on him. What? Just go away. We're out of money. Yep. No more money for us. It certainly wouldn't hurt if we would get a new city fairly soon. Okay, this is looking good, because we can probably play out another capable uh, I do want to fight this man. You can just move through walls. 
I think I should be attacking this guy first. He can, he can disable our spells. That's fine. Can you raise it? So from now it looks like blue only has two wizards solar cities. They're very capable cities, but no three. Uh, if we transfer us here, that's great because we have our own city here, and uh, we can transfer extra troops. Everything's looking fine. Bobby says troops. Oh no, run! They're here! Please! Whatever. It's pretty much an okay -ish army versus. I don't know what. I don't want to attack it yet. I want to see what the prisons, prisoners are that we can get from this. I'm hoping something sacrificial so we could uh, soften the target. Do something, something like that. It doesn't look like they managed to do much. Miss, 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 miss. That is pretty hard for me to do. Tony offer. Okay, it's not a bad group at all. Better than I expected, to be honest. So oh, yeah, that should be enough of our reinforcements so we can take down that. Any survivors will attack this city immediately. Quick battle. Yeah, I'm trying to move as fast as possible toward the protected city here. This, uh, because it has been basically a way separated from all the fighting so far. It could very well be very weak defended. Holy shit, this is not weak defended. Probably the most heaviestly defended city I've seen so far. Uh, I don't, I don't think we can handle that in no way. So what we're going to do is basically just burn everything here and prepare for this junction. Our domain Yeah, 
Yeah, I think I'll have to end here. Uh, still a lot to be done, but we're in a very good position to handle things. The enemy has huge armies, more than I can handle, but we can shave them one way or another. We can deal with that. <laughs>